Hi! Welcome to Cloud Dolls! I'm so excited for this video! Kiru's workshop invited everyone to create an original chimera, mixing your signs from the Western, Chinese and Mayan astrology. The chimera, according to the Greek mythology, was a monster composed of the parts of more than one animal. And for me, it's Taurus, horse and snake. I'm gonna use Phantom from Monster High. She's already half a horse. I take the head out with my heat gun to make the vinyl soft. Then I cut the hair really short and with my scuba driver and my tweezers I pull the rest of the hair from inside from the neck hole with 100% acetone I will take the factory makeup out I will start with the hair I'm gonna use this gray white hair as usual I start from the bottom I'm using hot glue because I want something fast being really careful with the hairline I start to build the hair to the top And that's how she looks. After giving it three layers of mist super clear sealing, don't forget to use your mask, please. I start building the face with my watercolor pencils and my soft pastels. I'm gonna give her green yellow eyes like a snake. And with my soft pastels, with the color purple and pink, I'll start giving her the shadows and the shape to her face. Don't forget a waterline also. Her then brows, I make them up. I wanted to give her a strong character. And with blue and pink soft pastels, I start to give in the eyeshadow and building the highlights. The person of Taurus, they are graceful and diligent laborers. They can be stubborn, bullheaded <laughs> and set in their ways. But they are also great listeners and very dependable. Taurus can absolutely go on forever. Yeah, that's me. With my little brush from nail art, I take the pigment directly out from the pencil to build more opacity. I want to give her a dream catcher in her face also with the gold acrylic paint. And with my white acrylic I give her the final highlights. Finish the face with my glossy varnish in the waterline and in the mouth. I thought the eyelashes were too dark. I give her a little highlights with the gold acrylic paint. 
Now I'm gonna start building the dream catcher in her head. I hold him fast with some pins and when I work with him, I'm gonna use this gold chain, some feathers and also this pink stone. I will finish him with some feathers also. Now we're gonna get started with the body. I already sanded it, take the tail out, prepare him. And I'm gonna paint it with my uh, dark metallic purple acryl. I give it two layers, let it dry between the layers. I also give her in the upper leg of the horse a dream catcher. I give it the name of Astralis, inspired in the astrology. After all, she's the combination of the three signs, Taurus, Horse and Snake. Now I'm gonna blush the body with the same colors and the same pastels that I use in the face and I seal it with Mr. Super Clear. With my two parts epoxy sculpt, I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna cover the holes of her wings in the back side. I'm using water, a pencil and a silicone tool. And then I'm gonna use a cotton to clean the body of the rest of the epoxy. With 100% acryl yarn in the color white and gray, I'm gonna make her fur for the legs and for the hip and the tail also. For that, I'm gonna unroll it. I'm gonna brush it with my pet brush and with a hair straightener, I'm gonna pull really good. And that's what you get, a really shiny fur. Slowly, I'm gonna build the fur in her legs. and also in the waist. Now with my exact knife and with my teeth brush and a little bit of water, I'm gonna clean the rest of the glue to make a perfect transition between the fur and the leg of the horse. And with my black soft pastel, I'm gonna give her some shadow to make the transition more soft. For the tail, I'm gonna use my wires. With a paper glue tape, I cover the wires and then with the same acryl yarn, I will build the tail of the horse from the bottom to the top around it, the same way that I did with the legs. For the snake. I'm gonna use this Obi Clay Light. She's hair drying. She's really easy to work with. I'm just gonna roll it and with this mess, I give it the texture of a snake. And with my silicone tool, I give it the eyes 
I have to let it dry for two or three days and then I come with my purple and light blue acrylic paint and I paint her and I try to make a little uh, transition between the two colors a degradé After she's dry, I give her little scales with Angelina form. And then I brush it with my micro powder white pearl. For the eyes, I'm gonna use a green stone. And this is the final result. And it is exactly how I want it. Mystic, colorful snake. In my 3D printer, I print this little snake also for her arms that I'm painting. And I printed also this Taurus mask to represent the Taurus signal. I have to sand it with my Dremel. And now I'm gonna give her two layers of acrylic paint, black color. And with my pearl paint, gold color, I will give it two layers to give her an, a pearl gold effect, like this. After that, with my acrylic gold paint, I'm going to paint it the symbol of Taurus in the front of the mask. By the way, I'm using gold because I'm crazy about gold, and uh, that is one of the, the characteristics of Taurus. We are very materialistic people. We love good food, good bed, sleeping, everything that is good we love to have around it. With a hairbrush technique and with the same gold paint, I will give her a hairbrush effect. To protect my work, I'm gonna use my matte varnish. It will protect the paint from scratching With the same gold chain that I use for the Dreamcatcher, I'm going to decorate the mask and also with the same feather. With this wood uh, bead, I will, I will build the stock for the mask and I put them together with my UV resin under the UV light for 90 seconds. And with a small wood bead, I'll give her a decoration. If you don't want to lose my next video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. It's really important for me. Help me to grow up. And don't forget to put your like and your comment. I love to hear it. With this little bit of a ribbon that I cut it and with this white line and with the same feather I'm gonna make her top. Astralish is ready. I hope you love her. I love her very much. She have a lot of things about me. The gold, the beauty, the mystic, the feathers, the colors. I love it. Everything. Don't forget to check out the Kiddos workshop film and also the other amazing dolls that other artists made it for this collaboration. And I want to say thank Kiros to let us make this collaboration with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all of you guys that follow me 
and give me a lot of strength and a, a lot of hope and help me in my journey of a doll customizer because this is a journey we are learning every day and I'm sure that I see you on the next video.